to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. And thank you so much for all that love and support that you guys gave me on my last video. It was my first ever tutorial. As you could tell, I was very, very nervous. But all your positive energy and the support and all the amazingness that you sent my way really made it easy for me to come back and do a second one fairly quickly, actually. And I'm so excited to be doing it for you guys today. So keeping in mind the festive spirit that we're in and considering that Christmas is fast approaching, I wanted to bring you something that was a little bit more colorful and a little bit more holiday friendly. So if you like what you see and you like this look, please keep watching. So first things first, I've already moisturized my face. Um, the next thing I will do is I will go in with a primer. Going ahead with my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do my brows first. This is again the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Medium Brown. So for today's makeup tutorial, I wanted to really show you um, a budget friendly but an amazing palette that I've been using for a very long time and it is the Morphe 35O palette. Again, it has beautiful, beautiful uh, neutral colors. Um, as you can see, it just has like such a great variety of colors. They look really, really good um, on every kind of skin tone. Again, they're very pigmented. You really get um, the bang for your buck with this palette. I'm going to go in and do a nice shimmery eye. Um, I really want um, my lips to be the focal point for my look here. So again, I'm going to start off by doing my highlighter and I'm going to use this color, which is the third over from the left. Then I'm going in with this bone color. It's the fourth over from the left, just as my transition to really help me blend out all my colors. Keeping in line with the festive spirit, I wanted to go in and use some burgundy and some warmer tones for the eyes. They're a fabulous choice for medium and olive skin tones, and they're very, very flat. If you're ever afraid to use burgundies, don't be, because they look really great on our skin tone. I'm gonna go in um, with this burgundy reddish color. It's right underneath that bone I used. Again, fourth from the left. I'm gonna go into is this nice reddish color that you can see right here at the bottom um, it's really really pretty it has a really nice shimmer to it finish up our look um, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful color um, it's this very nice shimmery champagne it literally looks like champagne all across my lids and I'm all about that life so um, it's this it's the second color from the right and the third row. Beautiful, beautiful color. Really helps your eyes pop. And it looks amazing. Make sure to clean up any fallout or anything that you guys might have because last thing we want is to have a glitter all over our face. And that is ain't cute. A really, really good trick is to take a makeup wipe and follow the natural shape of your eye to really help you clean up and give you that defined shape that you would want. You know when people put on that tape or anything like that? That can get really, really uncomfortable. This helps to keep it more natural um, and not too overpowering and not too... So next I'm gonna go in and do my liner. So for this look, I really wanted to get a nice winged thick liner. Um, I feel with a red lip, liner and lip is the best look ever. I find it very easy to use a pen. I use a Kat Von D tattoo liner. A lot more control over the line that you're drawing. It's very precise and really helps you to get that thin line and very tapered look that um, you would want. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do some mascara. Going in again with the Voluminous Original. It's in the color Black is Black. Next I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do my foundation. My favorite concealer is you know it, it's the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger. Now to set my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Loose Setting Powder from Laura Mercy again. It's in the color Translucent. I realized in my last video I called it the Translucent Powder. Today I'm going to go in with the Studio MAC Studio Fix in the color C4. Going in with my bronzer. And this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Going in with 
deep throat. <laughs> you know, my girlfriends laughed at me. They're like, I can't believe you're really saying this on camera. But I am. I'm such a brand loyalist. If I love a product, it's so hard for me to like let it go. Um, but I'm also a very picky person. So once I find something that I love, that's it. That's the one. Today I'm gonna use one of the most beautiful um, highlighters I've come across and it's the Becca Opal. Oh my god, this highlighter is so stunning. It really, really, really looks good. I love wearing a nude liner. I love opening up the eyes. So I'm going to go in with this eyeliner, it's the Contour Inner Rim Gel Eyeliner. The color Wide Eyed, it's by Sephora. Okay, last is my favorite part. Um, it's to do my lips. I'm gonna go in and use, I realize I say lips in a very singy songy way and I said it exactly that same in my last video. Because we are doing a really bright lip today, you wanna make sure that your lips are nicely exfoliated and conditioned. So I'm using one of, um, Fresh's lip polishes. Now that all my foundation is off my lips, we can go back in and line them first. So I'm gonna be using again MAC. MAC is like, honestly, I have so many MAC lipsticks. I use so many of them. Like, I am a big, big, big fan. MAC lip liners, um, I do admit they tend to be a little bit dry. So what you can do is you can take a blow dryer and with it on warm heat, kind of just wand it, wave, the blow dryer in front of the lip liner. Make sure to warm up the product, not melt it, because you do want it to go on nicely. So I've done exactly that with Cherry here. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to line my lips, starting with the Cupid's bow. Again, making sure to fill in your lips as you go along. Remember, staying power. I'm gonna go in lastly with Ruby Woo from, again, MAC. This is honestly one of the best reds on the market. Now um, the great thing about Ruby Woo is that it has a blue undertone and blues really help to make your teeth look whiter. And if you're a little bit nervous wearing red this holiday season, don't be. It's all really about finding a color that you feel the most comfortable in. If you're not that adventurous and if you don't like wearing such a powerful red, then stay away from mattes and stay away from something that is really, really going to be a true red color. If you want to be a little bit safer and you don't want to go ahead and wear something so overpowering and so powerful, then I would really recommend going in for a satin or a more lustrous slash um, sheer red. It will really help the look come together without it being so powerful. But right before I let you go, one last trick. To avoid anyone laughing at you, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that none of this red lipstick gets on your teeth because that is one of the worst things that we can do. So, in order to avoid that, I want you to take your finger, put it in your mouth, and suck it back out. So if there's any access lipstick which has the possibility of getting on your teeth, we'll be gone. And you're left with a beautiful smile. So I hope you enjoyed watching me, guys, and thank you again so much for tuning in. I really appreciate all of your love. Um, it really does mean a lot to me. It gives me so much energy to keep coming back and really helping me to be myself with you guys and just to have so much fun because I'm honestly loving every part of this process and it really could not have been possible without the support of you guys. If you've been enjoying my videos and you like what you saw today, then please subscribe to my channel, comment down below, and give this video a thumbs up. So until next time, toodles!